Do you guys like my new mug? I am only talking to my cat today. <laughs> and yes, before you ask, I am a cat person. I have two cats. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. I'm having a pretty good day so far. But I think we all know why we are here. To check out my M1 Finance Portfolio. The growth slash dividend portfolio. And I have a surprise for you guys. If you stay to the end of this video, I will show you how you can be entered in a giveaway that I'm doing to get a free t-shirt of my original creation. Hey, what's up guys? If you're new here today, I'm Michael Romero. I'm just a small time YouTuber trying to grow this YouTube channel. Small time investor trying to grow all of my investment portfolios. And hopefully by the end of this year, I will be a real estate investor. That's the goal. That's what we're trying to do. Hopefully it all works out the way it's supposed to, but we all know how life goes. Since you're here with me today, why don't you go ahead and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm because it really helps this channel out a lot more than you guys know. And if you're watching and you're not subscribed, go ahead and consider kicking, uh, la, la, la. <laughs> clicking that red subscribe button, turning it gray. And while you're down there, go ahead and hit that little notification bell while you're at it. You might as well to be notified the next time. La, again, the next time we come out with uh, some more good videos like this to help you guys for your future. So my M1 finance portfolio is actually outperforming my Robinhood portfolio even though it's a significantly smaller amount in my M1 Finance than my Robinhood, it is doing 20, almost 25%. Over the week, uh, I think over the past two weeks, it actually hit 29%, but you guys know since the uh, coronavirus, it has been, <clears throat> the stock market has been slowly going down somewhat. But I'm not worried about that because I'm still sitting at 25% gains. That's with uh <laughs> that is with growth and with dividends but without any further ado let's go ahead and jump into this phone so we can check out my m1 finance portfolio all right guys so as you can see here um my total account is 637 dollars and nine cents and this is for all time uh i did open this uh, Robinhood account in November. I think I put a hundred bucks in it, but I didn't do anything with it. I'm sorry, did I say Robinhood? M1 Finance account in November. I didn't do anything till October. No, scratch that. I did open this M1 Finance account um, in September. Didn't do anything with it till October. And I rearranged everything I was doing with it at the beginning of December. So, after all that being said, I'm up total 24.78%, which is $67.53. So that's fantastic. As of yesterday, though, I was down $8, which is 1.24%. We are down $11.60, which is 1.87%. On the month, we're up $37.18, which is 7.19%. As you can see here, quarterly, we're up $65.98, which is 20.18. Boom, look at that bad boy. And then we'll go to year or all time, which is $67.53, which is 24.78%. So this is outperforming my Robinhood account by over... It's, it's outperforming my Robinhood account double and a half, I believe. I think my Robinhood account right now is sitting at around 9% or close to 10%. But this is doing great. And I'm going to show you why exactly it's doing good. But first, let's go back into this. As you can see, my net cash flow, meaning all the money that I put into this account, is $573.40. And I am putting... $5 a day, which is $35 a week every Friday and reinvesting everything, which is what I'm putting in and any gains, any uh, dividends back into these stocks in here. And I have 11 stocks total. Didn't add any the past month or two, but check this out. Market gain of $63.69. 
my total gain is $67.53. My earned dividends is $3.84. Now, my Robinhood account is a strictly a uh, strictly a uh, dividend portfolio, monthly dividend account. Um, this is more of a growth account. Five, I have five, uh, no, I have six um, stocks on here that is a <sighs> dividend that are dividend paying stocks and the other five aren't. And I'm gonna show you what they are in a minute. Now, as you can see here, this past week, I didn't earn any dividends. This past day, I'm sorry. As you can see here, this, this past week, I didn't earn any dividends. Let's see the last month. Over the last month, I earned 14 cents in dividends. Last quarter, I earned $3.25 in dividends. Anyway, let's go to my portfolio. Let's go through everything. And we're gonna start from my total gain to my lowest gain, and we're gonna go over the all time. So as you can see here, Tesla, we are outperforming what I expected it to be. And as you can see here, Tesla is my number one gaining stock. Um, but as you guys know, M1 Finance is a fractional, you, you can buy fractional shares with it, meaning you don't have to have the entire amount of money for one share, you can literally put $1 toward that share. So if Tesla right now is 580, almost 600, I don't have that, all that money to put into one share, I can buy $5 worth and make gains from that and slowly build up my position, which is what I'm doing with all these accounts, uh, all these stocks that you guys are gonna see in a minute. So Tesla mm, 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 is doing fantastic. I have 0.11 uh, of a share. I have about $42 invested as you can see, I have about $42.50 invested and I have a total gain of $24.11, which is 65.40%. 65.40% is a crazy gain. And I got in this, as you can see, my average share price is $360. So I got in right before they shot up, uh, which is amazing. And I know you got all you got, and I know all you guys know what Tesla does, so I don't have to explain what this company is. Um, as you can see though, I am down on the day, $7.38, which is 1.29%. But man, that 65% is looking good. Hopefully it continues to trend upward. All time here, no dividends earned because this is not a dividend stock. Next we have the big bad Ensego. If you don't, if you guys don't know what this Ensego company is, it is something like a cloud-based 5G company. And as you guys know, everyone is trying to switch over to 5G. A lot of the infrastructure is changing to 5G. Uh, if you know me, you know I work in telecommunications when I'm not doing YouTube. So I know a lot about 5G and the way it is going. Uh, that's why I'm into this company. I have $41.93 invested with a profit of $8.45, which is 24.23% uh, gains, which is fantastic. Average share price, $7.20, and I believe it is like close to $9 right now or something like that, and I have uh, five shares, almost six shares. So at the end of next week, I should have over six shares. As you can see here, no dividends earned because this is not a dividend player. Let's go to the next one. Let's see what the next one's talking about. Apple, we all know what Apple is. We all know what Apple does. And Apple makes me money. That's what it does. As you can see here, I have $56.15 invested in Apple with a total of $63.36. That means my capital gain is $7.22, uh, which is 16.88%. And my average share price is $2.82 with uh, not even 0.2% in this company. Hopefully, we'll start ramping up how much money we got going on into this portfolio pretty soon and start making bigger moves with it. But it is doing great. I mean, almost 30, almost 25% in three months, two months, three months, four months, something like that. I'm happy with it. Hopefully, it continues that trend. As you can see here, no dividends earned as of now. Apple is a dividend paying stock, but I don't have any yet. So, let's go to the next. Next is Alphabet. Alphabet, we have not even 0.05% of a share. Average price is $1,372.16. With the average, uh, my cost in there is $59.14, which means I have a $4.11 profit, which is 9.09%. 9 
Uh, this isn't a dividend paying stock, as you guys know, but it is making me money. So <laughs> uh, I'm enjoying having the the ability to uh, get into these higher price stocks because of the fractional shares. And I can't wait till Robinhood opens up fractional shares in the drip program with uh, their port platform. Next, we have Lamar Advertising Company. And it is performing pretty great. Lamar Advertising, I have just over 50%, I have just over 0.5%, I have just over a half a percent in Lamar Advertising Company uh, with the average cost of $87.83. Um, my total gain is $3.74, which is 9.54%. And this is a dividend paying stock. So as you can see here, my total dividends earned is 33 cents. So hopefully this continues to build up. Hopefully these start adding up and ramping up my dividends. Next we have Win Resorts. Win Resorts, I have less than a half a percent. The, my average share price is $1.29. This is a dividend paying stock. I have a total of $2.32 gain from this, which is 5.54%. As you can see here, I don't have any dividends yet from this company, but it is sure to pay out pretty soon in the next couple months. And this bad boy has been killing it too. I don't have that much money in it, but it is slowly building up the position because like you guys know, I'm just reinvesting everything I got coming from it. Activision Blizzard is also another dividend paying stock. I have one, a little over 1%, I'm sorry, a little over one uh, share of this bad boy with an average share price of 57.26%. I'm up $2.30, which is $5.18. Um, no dividends yet, but I'm sure it's gonna come pretty soon. Actually, I don't I don't remember if that is one of the dividend paying stocks. <laughs> but uh, Amazon, everyone knows Amazon. I'm up $1.99 with an average share price of $1,802.60, which is 4.45% of my uh, gains. This ain't a dividend paying stock, guys. Next, we have a Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. I decided to, because I've never used uh, one of these to track the entire S&P 500, so I decided to try it with this portfolio. And it's underperforming what I thought it would do, but it's overperforming what it could be doing. So, with an average share price of $292.69, I have less than 0.2% of a share I'm up $1.93, which is $4.50. This is a dividend paying ETF also. Exchange traded fund, if you don't know what an ETF stands for, it's just a conglomerate of a bunch of stocks. So, 0.29%, uh, 23 cents. Man, I don't know why I can't talk today. I'm sorry, guys. Why don't you go ahead and make fun of me in the comments for that. Anyway, next we have SPXL. Direction daily S and P 500 bull three times shares. We're up six dollars and thirty two cents, which is one dollar and seventy nine cents. I have a little over half a share with an average price of sixty six dollars and eighty four cents. This is a dividend paying stock. Also, as you can see, I got eight cents from it. You already know we reinvest in everything, baby. Trying to get them gains. Next, we have everyone's favorite realty income. Uh, four dollars. I'm sorry, one dollar and thirty-four cents up. I bought it a little bit high, but it's okay. Um, I'm up four point five percent. This is a dividend paying stock, monthly dividend paying stock, the only monthly dividend paying stock in this portfolio. If you want to check out my other monthly dividend paying stocks in my Robinhood portfolio, which that's what that is for, monthly and quarterly dividend paying stocks, go ahead and go to the Robinhood playlist on my. YouTube account. So guys, as you can see here, with just 500 something dollars um, invested, I'm up 24%. Now, we're definitely gonna get over a thousand dollars by the end of this year, especially if we continue getting gains like this. Um, but are you guys invested in any of these on Robinhood or on here? Like, do you guys what do you guys like better? Do you guys like Robinhood or M1 Finance better? I'm, I'm, I really do like uh, M1 Finance because of the fractional shares and how easy it is to just kind of like set it and forget it thing. 
but I also like to kind of have more control of what I do. I'm an active investor. So this is my passive investing and I'm an active investor on um, Robinhood. That's kind of what I use that for. Anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get to get out of that phone there. So yeah, so since October, I have 24.78% gains. Um, do you guys think that's good? I, I think it's very good. Uh, like I said, I was almost up to 30%. I think the closest I got was like 29.08% over the past uh, week or two or whatever. But you guys know the whole coronavirus scare is uh, really freaking people out and messing with the stock market. But I ain't worried about it. The lower it goes, the more money I put in because that's how we make our gains. Anyway, guys, now that we finished with that, now that we finished with the portfolio, I'm going to tell you guys how you can be entered to win a free prize. Uh, all you have to do is... Smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Click subscribe and go ahead and leave a comment letting me know that you guys did all of that. And with you guys doing that within the next week or two, uh, one of the next videos, it probably won't be the next one, but maybe the one after that, uh, videos I release, I will pull, pick a winner and we'll have a winner for this here giveaway. Um, but guys, with that being said, I hope you found value out of this video. And I hope you guys, uh, get in on this prize that i'm trying to give y'all anyway guys if you find value out of this video go ahead and smash that like button the youtube algorithm hit that red subscribe button turn it gray and leave a comment so you can be entered in this giveaway uh, and with that being said guys if you want to continue your journey to financial enlightenment with me all you have to do is click one of these videos all right guys with that being said i'm out of here y'all have a great day